white light contains all visible wavelengths. I'm going to simplify all the visible wavelengths into three main wavelengths, red, green, and blue. And that combination gives us white light. We know that white light has all the different wavelengths because when it's broken up via a prism, you can see all those different wavelengths. But I'm going to simplify and just focus on red, green, and blue. Objects that are, that is, objects that we perceive to be white, reflect all visible wavelengths and absorb none. Objects that are colored reflect some wavelengths and absorb some. This series of pictures down at the bottom, this creature on the left, his feathers reflect virtually all visible wavelengths. This cardinal here reflects red, which is why we see it as red, and we're going to say absorbs green and absorbs blue. This bird is green because green wavelengths reflect back, reds and blues are absorbed. This blue jay is blue because blue is reflected, and we can say red and green are absorbed. Objects that appear to us to have no color reflect no visible wavelengths and absorb all of them. So this blackbird, his feathers essentially absorb all visible wavelengths, absorb red, absorb green, absorb blue, and reflect none, which is why he has that color black. The primary colors of light, not pigments, are red, green, and blue. And we talked earlier that red plus green plus blue gives us white light. Light is additive, which means if we shine green light and blue light on a surface, we're going to get a color which our brains interpret as cyan. Blue light and red light shined on a white surface will appear to be a magenta color. Green light and red light shined on a white surface appear to be yellow. Two colors of light are complementary if, when added, they produce white light. So for example, blue plus yellow will give you white. And the reason for that is that yellow is simply red light and green light combined. And we know that blue and red and green give us white. Red and cyan are complementary colors. Cyan, of course, is a combination of blue and green light, and red and blue and green make white. So the other set of complementary colors is green and magenta. Folks who are on the tech crew and run the stage lights in theater productions have a good understanding of certain colors of light and certain intensities will give certain effects to the visual aspect of the performance. Pigments are subtractive and when we talk pigments we're referring to paints or dyes. Pigments are different from light. We'll show you an example here. So let's say we have incident white light that is shining on some blue paint. Well that blue paint absorbs certain wavelengths. I say that it is absorbing the red, orange, and yellow wavelengths and is reflecting the green, blue, and violet wavelengths. Our brain interprets those colors as, let's say, blue. Now we've got some yellow paint. If we shine white light on it, again, it absorbs certain wavelengths and reflects others. For this simplified example, I'm saying that yellow paint is going to absorb the blue and the violet wavelengths, and it's going to reflect all the others. That combination our brain calls yellow. Well, what if you mix blue paint and yellow paint? You might have done this in kindergarten. You know that you get green paint. And now we have a basis for understanding why. Because the blue pigment is going to absorb the red, orange, and yellow wavelengths, and the yellow pigment is going to absorb the blue and the violet wavelengths. The only wavelength that both of those reflect is green, which is why when you mix blue paint and yellow paint, it looks green. Pigments are subtractive, light is additive. 
Indiana University Competition Swimming Pool and Diving Well. Water absorbs red light. The deeper the water, the more red is absorbed, and the bluer the water appears. The color that water appears depends on other factors too, besides depth. Cloud cover, sun angle, composition of the ocean floor, composition of the water itself, etc. The primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. We perceive an object's color based on the light frequencies A, incident on, B, reflected by, and C, absorbed by, an object. The difference between light and pigments is that light is simply certain frequencies or wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Pigments are compounds, or mixtures of compounds, that absorb some frequencies and reflect others. This is why we say pigments are subtractive.